Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. This is for mid-month December. I'm doing a general reading for you towards the end as well. Keep in mind these are general messages, so they may or may not resonate. Feel free to check your other placements if it doesn't. Let me see what's going on with you when it comes to love. Okay, sadness and isolation. This is the Three of Swords. So some of you are dealing with, as it says, sadness, but there, this is usually heartbreak. To do with matters of the heart, we have communication, separation, my goodness. Okay. Separation, communication, and soulmate recognition. So I do get this feeling that maybe there's no communication at the moment, but there will be. So because there's no communication at the moment, some of you are just feeling kind of just thrown out there, you know, in the separation. But I do feel like it's going to get better. I feel like there's going to be a weight lifted. Even if it's just to get closure, some of you may make up with your person. Others of you may just need closure and be able to move forward. But there is some kind of soulmate there. Soulmate energy either is coming in or it's already there. Let me see. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. We have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and soulmates again. Yes, this is your soulmate. You know, when this card, sadness and isolation came out, I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be a sad, bad reading. But there's hope. Like, either you're reconnecting with that person or you're meeting your real soulmate. So I'm really not worried anymore for you. We have, it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. This just seems to be a little setback here in your love life. I really don't feel like it's much to worry about. You may be going through it right now, but I feel like when communication comes in and you get, you know, to understand the situation more, that weight will be lifted. Yeah, some of you hermit. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo, but this is real, real, real sadness here. The person that Gemini has in mind, how do they feel about Gemini? Wow, you see how that came out? For a lot of you, this, this separation, it seems to be a misunderstanding. It seems that they also feel sad about this as well. Nine of Swords, Ten of Wands, and Strength in Reverse. This person has some type of weakness going on. I don't know if they struggle with fears when it comes to relationships. But there's something that also has this person down, like... Their feelings towards you, the king of pentacles. Very strong feelings. King of pentacles is male or female who really knows what they want, wants to settle, wants something serious. But then we got this energy here where this person is feeling down. Maybe they're carrying baggage from their past, either past relationships, heartbreaks. Maybe they were cheated on in the past by their last person. They just seem to be carrying a lot of emotional baggage that I feel like you don't know about. And I feel like this may have gotten in the way of the relationship. And you're kind of caught in the middle without any answers at the moment. So I'm glad to tell you that this, this is going to improve. The situation will improve for you. Let me look at ooh, let me look at your main spread. What's going on with Gemini when it comes to love? By the way, I'm going to read the full description of this card at the end of this love section here. Ace of Swords, yeah, you're, you're in the Hermit, Gemini. You are definitely feeling isolated and sad, but this is going to pass. Oh my gosh, it hurts my heart. Look at that though. Two of Cups, it, like mutual energy. Two of Cups, a soulmate energy, soulmate recognition, soulmate. It doesn't get any clearer. This is just, yeah. 
yeah this is a test this is a test of your relationship and your person they're going through something mentally okay they have the swords here they know that you let your guard down for them but they are dealing with something mental maybe they have um some mental health issues to do with emotional pain sometimes emotional pain over time causes mental health issues causes people to need therapy counseling you know anxiety meds all those things and it's very common okay it's not like back in the day when people were ashamed this is very common and people should speak about it and be open but i feel like this person is really dealing with something um and it could be vice versa but they're dealing with something it got in the way of the relationship a little bit this happens but i really i don't feel like this is someone who doesn't like you or wants to run away from you no ace of swords i see that you do want to make this work but you are in a really sad place as you can see and you're seeing this person maybe you're seeing them as an enemy a little bit some of you but some of you may be seeing them as a little bit like feeling like they're not in control of themselves there could be an aries virgo cancer capricorn these are the main signs but what's blocking is the fact that there's been no forward movement at the moment with this devil energy in reverse as the outcome this means the issues in the relationship are leaving okay so especially if this person had some personal issues that were affecting the relationship that is being worked through so that's the great news okay let me see what we got here okay sorrow disappointment trust healing love can bring both joy and sorrow when disappointment enters your life it's important to acknowledge and sorry it's important to acknowledge the accompanying sadness and feelings of loss however it's equally vital not to dwell on the loss the tempt the temptation may be to isolate yourself from the world and cling to your grief this card is a reminder to trust that the situation as hard as it may be is in your best interest it's time to gently let go of the sorrow and disappointments sorrow can hold you back or it can elevate you to new levels of understanding focusing on your sadness and loss will prevent you from attracting new positive energy around your relationship around relationships so it's time to turn your disappointment into hope for the future ask what lessons you can learn from the situation move beyond this sorry i was gonna say disappear move beyond despair into healing and joyful love let go and move on you have more powerful spiritual forces helping you than you could ever imagine so during your time of sadness you have to go within yourself which you have been because you have the hermits but this person also has their battles that they're dealing with as well okay i do see most of you being able to reconnect with this person it does look that like there's improvement with this connection okay it does look like there's improvement but the thing is time so it's like while you're waiting i mean i, I wouldn't even say that you should wait you should really be focusing on you but you could also let your friends help you like it says take your mind off of things I feel like the more you let go and release the more you're clearing the energy in the way for this communication to come through and for you know everything to be understood better okay everything to flow more freely so this is what i'm seeing when it comes to love i'm going to look at your general reading there could still be some love messages that come through but let's see what's going on in your personal life as a gemini what are the messages for gemini okay awakening look at things from a different perspective a temporary standstill 
it's important to be yourself this makes sense now because some of you may be going through this because it's a part of a spiritual awakening even sometimes when you've already had one maybe you've had a major one there can be small ones after that going to uh, going to higher levels so now it makes sense four of cups missing an opportunity disappointment or boredom open your eyes to the possibilities Too. the dreamer leap of faith this is the fool card so look at this though we've got the fool and the world the first card in the major and the last card in the major leap of faith follow your dreams unexpected opportunities a job well done contentment and gratitude the path towards enlightenment this is the beginning and the end. This is like a whole chapter that you've gone through. This is like the beginning of the year and now we're at the end of the year. So this usually I pull three cards and these two came out together making four. It wasn't meant well, it was meant to be, but that's how it happened. And this is very symbolic, the beginning and the end, okay? So basically you've gone through a whole chapter. Now it's getting ready to change and change can be uncomfortable so you definitely are going through something that's why it's all happening that's why this relationship may just snap back together because you may have just needed this this isolation this alone time to realize your own self growth and your journey relationships can be distracting from our own personal journey so sometimes the universe splits us up just so we can see ourselves for a minute you know we have four of wands, contentment, peace and abundance, a happy home life, the success, sorry, the successful completion of a project. So Gemini, it all makes sense now. Oh my gosh. Let's look at your spread. Give me a general spread for Gemini. releasing a lot of things before you go into a new year and have a new start I see you releasing things that's that's the thing that's going on with you but you're definitely stepping into a, stepping onto a higher level king of cups that's the theme stepping up to a higher level and you are going to achieve a lot of emotional strength like being able to have way more control of your emotions understanding yourself better emotionally I do see that some of you may be like you may be moving to a new house or buying a new house maybe you've been living with parents or a family member or someone and now you're stepping out on your own that's gonna be a, an accomplishment for a lot of you is moving out and stepping on your own two feet obviously if you already live by yourself it may not be for you unless you're buying like a new house but I do see like a moving we also have um, This idea of freeing yourself from overthinking and when you do move on from the past try not to carry it with you in your thoughts okay when you move on you move on from the past from this year you go to the new year you don't bring those thoughts in with you you really are being asked to free yourself from certain thoughts as you go into your new chapter okay the thing is you are elevating with your theme and your obstacle it's king and queen this is a higher level this is maturity you know stepping up growth and that's the thing it's like there's it's like growing pains that's what i'm hearing growing pains so it's just something you're having to go through and you will see the amazing blessings what you're also going to learn is that life is a constant learning journey and there will be more lessons to learn they don't always have to be painful but there are there is always more to learn 
Okay, I do see that you are leaving a lot of drama behind. Gemini probably leaving, a, leaving behind some old friends who are not really friends. You know, they've been with you for a while, but you may come to realize that they've been with you for the wrong reasons or they've just been a drama. Like every time they're around, there's drama. So you're kind of realizing where the drama is stemming from, from certain people. It could even be family members. You're definitely learning and, and you, you, you gr you're growing out, outgrowing some people, okay? Outgrowing some people in your life. And you're going to have to, like you're going to find yourself at a crossroads having to choose a direction, okay? I feel like this, this, is, this is telling me you're going to have options and opportunities and you're going to have to choose. These opportunities could carry you abroad, some of you. But you're going to have to make a big, big decision going into this new year. And I feel like I'm hearing clear minds. So you're going to have a clear mind when doing so. So it won't be, you won't be struggling to make a decision, but you will have to make one. We have surrender to the divine. Don't let pride get in your way. A time to give rather than take. So Leo energy, new moon in Virgo, emotions are running high. Trust, opportunity, okay. choose a new direction, big happy changes. This all relates to this two of cups, two of cups. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? <laughs> two of wands. This all relates to the two of ones. The opportunities that are coming up for you and the fact that you're gonna really have to choose a direction. You're gonna have to figure it out. I don't feel like you'll be stressed because you'll be more clear-minded at that point, but it's gonna have to happen. And you have to make the decision for you. But you're being asked definitely to free yourself of the past and the thoughts of the past because you're going to a new level okay so gemini this is what i'm seeing for you really hope this was helpful you can always check your other placements if you want to know what else is going on for you thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one